After the accident in the East Tube in 2017, tunneling in the West Tube also had to be interrupted. The Sibylla Augusta TBM was parked shortly before the tunnel crosses under the Rheintal Railway. By 2021, an elaborate soil investigation program had been completed with over 70 exploratory drill holes, over 1,000 soil samples and analyses. The result was that extensive measures had to be put in place to ensure that the tunnel boring machine could continue safely. The soil around the Rheintal line below which the tunnel had to pass had to be enhanced. To achieve this, drilling lances were used to inject a mixture containing cement into the soil to a depth of up to 9 meters. The reinforced concrete slab installed in 2017 to the west of the Rheintal line was extended for a length of around 190 meters. More than 15,000 cubic meters of soil was then transported from the north construction site in Ertigheim and used as additional backfill on both sides of the Rheintal line. These steps prevented the machine's support fluid from seeping out on the surface, thus ensuring stable tunneling. We monitored the tunneling with a tight web of 850 sensors and 300 glass prisms. Any movements in the tracks or the concrete slab were immediately registered and reported. The monitoring station on the Rheintal line was manned round the clock for this purpose. Before the tunnel boring machine was finally able to resume operation after a two-year break, the machine had to be subjected to another thorough examination. Besides the hydraulics and electrical controls, all moving parts were serviced and lubricated. On October 18th, the time had finally arrived and the Sibylla Augusta TBM was able to fire up to cover the last 200 meters of the planned West Tube. In the previous year, there was a lot of activity on the construction sites in Ertigheim and Niederbühl. The sonic boom structures and access route were completed. And in the south, the Oser Langraben River was moved to a renaturalized, redesigned bed. On December 6th, Sibylla Augusta reached the target shaft without incident. And after the partitioning wall had been demolished, the 180-ton cutter head lay free, and the west tube was thus completely cut. Immediately after the cutter head had been exposed, work began on dismantling the machine. The individual parts are being transported south via the A5 motorway. The pipes and auxiliary structures are now being removed in the entire west tube and on the Ertigheim construction site, the second separating machine will be dismantled. In 2021, work also started on the connecting structures, also referred to as transverse tunnels. These connecting structures form part of the safety and rescue concept. For the Rastatt Tunnel, we are constructing a total of eight transverse tunnels as escape and rescue routes. An additional transverse tunnel will be built to serve as a supply shaft. They are 500 meters apart, about 16 meters in length, and they have an inner diameter of 7 meters. It takes around seven weeks until the ground between the tunnel tubes ices over. Then, the insulation is first removed and the tunnel wall perforated by drilling holes in it. After that, the linings are broken out. The frozen ground is removed with an excavator by means of chisel milling. After one meter, the exposed area is reinforced for stabilization, sprayed with concrete and thus secured. 
After the connecting tunnel has been completely excavated using mining techniques, it is completely sealed with a waterproof separation layer. After the foundations were concreted, special formwork trolleys were used to concrete the final arch. As the rectangular opening of the transverse tunnels is smaller than the cross-section of the connecting tunnels, the formwork trolleys have to be deployed beyond the entrance. Three of the connecting structures have already been completed. The remaining connecting tunnels will follow by the start of 2023. Restoration work of the East Tube proved complicated and could only be started after Easter 2022, once the Rheintal line has been moved. While the tunnel boring machine is dismantled, above ground we are preparing to move the Rheintal line above the completed West Tube tunnel. The first step will be to move a 700-meter length of the Rheintal railway track to the west above the finished West Tube. To reduce noise pollution for local residents, temporary noise barriers up to 7 meters in height will be erected. We will connect the relocated tracks to the Rheintal railway during track possession periods over the Easter holidays. Over the Easter holiday, around 50 workers working around the clock dismantled 200 meters of track while the line was completely closed for 138 hours. They aligned and connected the new tracks and moved 2,000 tons of gravel. The entire overhead line above the relocated section was also remade and connected. The double track realignment was completed punctually at 6 p.m. on the 20th of April 2022 and the trains were able to run again. The embedded tunnel boring machine will then be salvaged and the East Tube completed using open construction methods. For this, we will create a construction pit 200 meters in length, 17 meters wide and 16 meters deep. This work is scheduled for completion by the end of 2024. In addition, work on the fixed track will begin in parallel at the beginning of 2023. The work will then be completed in 2025 when the Rheintal railway line is relocated. The Rastatt tunnel is due to be commissioned in 2026 following rescue exercises, numerous test runs and trial operations.